So welcome to our first salon event for the for the year, for the 13-14 year. We had a couple of these last spring that, that went over, I thought, quite well. We're changing the format up a little bit. We still have wine and, and, and food. We won't give that up. Um, but we are doing a set of, of, a short set of lightning talks. So these are five minute talks and we pulled together three speakers who are in a theme that's around, basically around health and, and networking and thought that they could, uh, they would each talk to that theme and then that would stimulate a discussion. We hope questions, you know, questions by the audience and, and, and questions by them uh, with the goal of, in a sense, all of us learning a little bit more and learning a bit about each other a bit more and, and in general kind of enhancing the, uh, the potential for interdisciplinary ties on, research ties on campus. So the first of our speakers is Kate Connolly who's in the School of Informatics Computing. And the second of our speakers is Kasali Simon, who is in SCIA. And the third is Zhuhua Lau, who is in the New School of Public Health. So, I won't pay, please. Okay, so I only have five minutes, which is really hard for any faculty member, I'm sure. And so what I'm gonna talk about is not a particular project, but I wanna talk about how we over in the School of Informatics and Computing, in, on the Bloomington campus, how we think about health. So, um, so I'm talking about the Pro Health Group that stands for Proactive Health. And if you are at all like from a med school background and you hear about health informatics, then you're thinking, oh, it's kind of clinical information support systems and electronic health records. But that's not what we're doing at all. We are putting the patient in the center of our research, and we're saying most health, um, and not health. Uh, Health, like chronic disease care, but most health happens outside of the clinic. So what you eat, how much you exercise, how much sleep you get, the kind of stress you, levels you're under, that has a huge impact on your health and it's not happening in the clinical setting. And there's a lot of information we can find out about you, data that we can collect outside of the clinical setting and a way to feed that back to the patient that, that we can help them be proactive about their health. And that's the general theme. We have three basic kind of thrusts uh, in our research um, with this patient and the center. And the first one is HCI, that stands for Human Computer Interaction. And the idea is if we're designing systems for people who don't have a lot of training with these systems, we really have to pay attention to how they are going to interact with the system. It can't be very difficult. It has to be easy, a lot of times very automated. Um, and we're also designing systems for populations that uh, computer scientists often don't usually designed for. We're designing for people who maybe don't read very well. We're designing for older adults. And so that means we really have to pay attention to the users, what their needs are and what their abilities are. The second kind of thrust that we have is embedded in nature. So we are not asking people to go to their computer and look up a website to find information. We want to embed the information and the help in their everyday lives, in everyday objects, not necessarily in a computer. Um, and so examples are, we might actually augment a physical clock and it have lights on it that provides feedback in some way about your health or your activity levels. And so we do a lot of sensors and interesting displays beyond just a, a website or a, a cell phone. And then the last research thread is intelligence. So now that we have a lot of really interesting information about you, you know, what your location is, what, who your social network is, what you're eating, what your physical activities are, can we do something really amazing that we've never been able to do before with just your one-time clinical visits? Um, and so we have uh, data analytics people who are experts in machine learning who can take very simple basic data and be predictive and help you better understand, well, if you keep making this particular choice, then that's what the potential outcome is in terms of your health. So we're empowering the users to really understand their everyday choices and their lifestyles and what impact that might have on their health. And so we have all three of these now as faculty members in our school, we just hired two new faculty members. So we have myself, we have Katie Seek, who is also in the HCI and embedded area, that's my area as well. And then we have Sri Ram Natarajan, who is in the data analytics side. And I know there are people here who I would be really interested in talking to. She just met someone from social work, and so she deals with populations that are, you know, having to deal with poverty or with drug abuse or, or mental health disorders. And I love to design for 
particularly challenging populations like that. So that would be a really good connection to make. Um, there are people in the business school who are doing data analytics that I think would work really well with Sri Ram about how can we actually take some of this data that we've never had access to before and do something really positive with it and empower the users and not just you know, provide it to Google so that they can target advertising um, even better. So with that, I want to just end with, there were two flyers over there because um, we're just getting our group really up and started. We have two activities coming up that I would like to advertise, and feel free to take flyers and post them or, or just to take them for yourself. Um, but the first one is this Friday. We're going to be having two weekly or two monthly teas. Every month we'll have two teas. We're starting Friday at 3, but we'll be changing the time around a little bit, where the pro-health faculty and the students, we have several PhD students already in the program, um, they will be there, you know, socializing, eating snacks, so come on over and talk to us if you think that maybe you would like to, to see what we're doing and see if there's a good collaboration. And then there's also a new consortium on real experiences with pervasive health information technologies, that's Core Fit, and that is a School of Public Health and, Info and School of Informatics and Computing consortium where we're trying to get faculty in those two units in particular to collaborate and go for grants, but we welcome faculty from other units as well to come, and we have these team building workshops where the whole goal is to come up with really interesting novel projects that are interdisciplinary so we can go after NIH grants and things like that. So, so please take a flyer and join us, let us know that you're coming so we can have enough food. So that's it.